Hey everyone, welcome back to my shop. Yes, it's Waffle Wednesday. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Atlanta, my trip to Atlanta, which was pretty awesome. And I met some really great makers. First of all, I picked up quite a lot of stickers. So let's get them on the board. That's better. Now look at that. There are some makers there. Um, I couldn't even begin to tell you who they all are. <laughs> um, I didn't meet all of these people, um, but I met a few of them. And, uh, and oh, they were just, it was just an amazing event. It was really a fantastic uh, place to be. There were so many talented uh, makers there and I was completely inspired by, uh, well, one, everyone's generosity, um, everyone's um, kindness, and um, yeah, it was just an amazing place. It was a really great uh, event, and I'm really chuffed uh, that we went. Uh, Charlie loved it. He was really uh, enjoyed doing a few bits and pieces. I have actually made a vlog of the actual event, of going to Atlanta and the show and and what I was going to do I was going to put a snippet of the um, of the show on this channel and then I was going to put the entire vlog on my other channel um, and if you wanted to see all of it I was going to get you to go and see it on my other channel however um, I thought well rather than making you go over to my vlogging channel to watch the uh, Atlanta woodworking vlog I may as well put it on this channel I hope you don't mind but I was thinking about, as I don't really have a lot of time this week, I'm still getting over the jet lag of the trip. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to get a Friday Friday project up yet. So I thought, how about I just put the vlog up for you so you can see what happened, what me and Charlie did, uh, meeting some of the people, um, and just a bit about you know showing you around Atlanta. So. That was kind of my idea. I hope that you think that's a good idea. I know that there's a lot of people on here that are not interested in vlogs. It is a woodworking vlog, so um, hopefully you won't mind so much. So go easy on me. <laughs> but I just thought it might be quite a good idea to stick it up, um, rather than put it up on my other channel, which is dedicated to vlogs, really. So, um, people, I mean, I can name a few of them. And I will, um, I have uh, put links down to uh, quite a few of them on the vlogging channel because obviously we meet a few people there. So there are, I've li linked and, and sort of like um, their channels so that you can go over to them because there's some really great makers here. Now one of them that I wanted to mention, I'm not too sure if I've got his sticker because I'm looking around and I can't seem to find it. Uh, but the guy's name is Izzy Swan, um, and if he's watching, uh, Izzy, I don't have your sticker, I don't think. Did you give out stickers? No. Um, but I don't have one, so I really would like to get one of those from Izzy. Uh, what a talented maker, and what an absolutely awesome guy. Um, he made Charlie and I feel really welcome. Um, you'll see on the vlog, um, but um, he signed up to Charlie's uh, little little channel which is really cool and it, it's just you know and there were so many people like this but you know um, Izzy stuck out for us because he made a big effort to welcome us from uh, the UK and uh, just a great guy so I definitely would check out his channel I will put a link below for his channel even though I don't have his sticker or I might have I don't know but I've got a space down here for your sticker Izzy um, another really talented uh, maker was uh, Jessie from my Jessup. Uh, again, another really great girl, maker, talented person, and um, she was brilliant as well. Uh, and I've checked out some of her videos, and she's making some really great videos, so I definitely would check out her channel. I will put a link down below for her channel as well. Um, but she was great, and, and she looked after Charlie as well. Her and Charlie hit it off like that, which was quite great. He was... Uh, playing some game and she plays the same game and they were loving that so that was quite good um, and um, yeah so I would definitely recommend going to check Jessie out so link for her channel um, we've got oh, Shogun Jimmy Shogun Jimmy 
What was it, Shotgun Jimmy? Shogun Jimmy, I can't remember. Nice chap, go and check him out. Jimmy DeResta, really nice guy. I don't know if you can see that in the camera view there, but that does say DeResta. Um, and um, really nice chap as well. So again, he's got a really big channel and he just makes all sorts of stuff. So definitely would check him out if you haven't done already. You probably already know who I'm talking about there anyway. I make it with dad. Um, really got a nice guy. Uh, obviously Heath Knuckles, we all know, or you can't see Heath's new sticker. Let me just turn this over. Look. Oh, look, there's a few more stickers here that you didn't get to see. Oh, didn't get the camera in there properly. So Heath Knuckles' new sticker gave me one. So Heath, you have two stickers on my wall. <laughs> um, there's lots of other people here, guys. Uh, Jack Bench, um, which is a guy called Charlie. Really nice chap. So many others, I can't name them all. Yeah, I mean, brilliant, it was just amazing. And uh, I filled up my entire board now, which I kind of thought I was gonna keep for a long, long time and build stickers up. And I've probably got room for maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe 10, 15 stickers and then that's it. I'll have to create another board or maybe I can start putting them up here or something, I don't know. So anyway, that's enough about stickers. Um, I won't talk too much about the Atlanta show because um, that's going to come up in the vlog anyway. But it was amazing, guys. It was really great. Thanks to all of you that were there and saw me there. And I had a few subscribers come up to me and, and, uh, uh, and, and have a chat, which is really nice. Thanks very much. It was really great to meet you all. And, um, uh, and I'm looking forward to the next one. So we've got Kansas City coming up. We've got UKIS coming up. We've got Yandels coming up. Ah, that reminds me, Yandels. If you're in the UK, there is a little uh, woodworking show at Yandels in Somerset. So I'm going to pop down there. That is actually this Saturday. So um, <laughs> if you're around that way, or if you didn't know about it, get yourself down there. I'm going down there with Jim. Overton from Jimerson Stuff, really nice chap, making some really cool things. Um, I'm going to be going down there, and possibly with Leon as well, who's for, who makes all the big vases with lots of segmented vases, really nice chap as well. So uh, we'll be heading on down there this Saturday if you want to catch up with us. But it's a little, I think it's a little show. Uh, it's definitely not as big as, you know, the, the Atlanta shows and things, but I think it, I've heard it's pretty cool, so see if you can come down there and uh, we'll have a chat, we'll have a look around. It sounds like it's quite a good little show. Um, what else have I got to tell you? Uh, yes, um, I'm going to get into making pens. Pen blanks. I want to get into making some pens because I've seen so many talented people making pens. Now, obviously, I've seen pens being made before. But I never really thought that I'd get into it. Um, I thought that it would be a really cool thing to start doing. Um, because there are lots of different things that you can do with making pens. And I thought I'd add that into my channel. I've got to learn how to do this yet. So, um, But I've watched a few uh, guys doing it. They had a few um, demonstrations going on. Actually, Charlie made a pen. You'll see that in, in, in the vlogging video. Um, but I've bought all the bits and pieces and all the pen kits and everything else uh, and all the stuff I need to make pens. So I thought I'd make a few pens, but I'm going to funk these pens right up. You're not going to see a pen like I'm going to make. Well, you probably will initially because I need to sort of get into it and try to make stuff that other people are making. But I'm going to try and mix it up a little bit if I can and see what I can come up with. I don't know, maybe I, I won't find anything that is different because there's some really funky pens already out there. And I saw somebody's made a pencil pen as well, out of coloured pencils. Not there before I did, damn! <laughs> um, but, something else I've got to do, and that is the lathe giveaway. I know you've all been waiting for it, there's two lathes to give away. I'm shipping these wherever in the world. Now, I'm not gonna go on too long because I don't wanna stretch this waffling day. Well, it is a waffling channel, it's not a waffling channel. It's a waffling Wednesday. But I don't want to go on too long and make it too boring. However, I've got a lathe to give away and it's over here. So let's take you over there. So here it is, guys. This is the lathe that I'm giving away. Really fantastic bit of kit. I've been playing around with this and you know what? I'm so tempted just to buy another one just for me to have. So it's the new DML 250. It comes with your sort of is it a face plate that you 
put onto here. Um, it's a mini lathe, but I mean, it's you know, you can put it on a bench like I have, or you can get a stand for it. Uh, you've got your um, your wrenches here, so um, tighten the tighten this up with your revolving centre here, and that goes in your tail stock douche, at your drive centre, um, and that goes in your head stock there. Boom. Um, switch on and off here. Really nice size, as you can see, it fits quite nicely on my uh, bench, but it is pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy, guys. I mean, I can lift it and put it up there, but it's it's not light. But I mean, it's uh, it's a solid bit of kit. It's a really nice bit of kit. Um, what else did it come with? I think that's it, really. That's what you need. Um, so just fire this up. See that spinning? Smooth. Beautiful. Now this would be really great for doing pens. If you want to get into doing pens, then this would be quite cool. But it's mainly used for small turning this is so um, you know turning small items you're not going to be able to turn anything massive on this now that is what this bad boy's for so um, you know you can always upgrade to one of these um, which is the one I've got and then the the, the head sort of turns and stuff so you can make you know bigger things this is definitely gonna suffice you for the time being and if anything you know if you're if you're just gonna do some small stuff then this would be pretty cool so I'm not going to do a comprehensive review on it because I'm not technically minded. I'm not going to pretend that I am either. Um, I just wanted to show you the lathe, um, um, but it's, you know, and it's sized and it's kind of like, you know, what it looks like, what you get with it. Um, so two of these I'm giving away, guys, two of these lathes. Um, and don't worry as well, I, this is what also I've done for you. I've done something else. Let me pop you back over here. So what I've also done is I've managed to contact Record Power, spoke to the owners, and they've been kind enough to give me a code to give you. So if you're not lucky enough to win one of these lathes and you want one, um, then what I'll do is I will provide you, after the um, giveaway's been announced, I'll provide you with a code um, that will... Um, allow you to purchase one of these at a discounted price. Go onto their website, which I'll give you a link, Record Power, and uh, you can put in this code. It's an NZ code. Get some discount off of this kit, so it's gonna be fantastic for you guys. I'm gonna get you guys that wanna get into woodworking and wood turning, I am gonna make it happen. On top of that, I've got many more giveaways coming up, and uh, I think you'll be pretty excited about that as well. So. Um, so there it is, that's the giveaway on the Waffle Wednesday. Um, all you've got to do to enter, right, all you've got to do is you've got to share this video um, and you've got to comment below. What have you got to comment below? Don't know. Can we have commenting below? Um, let's comment below lathe. You've got to comment below whatever you're going to say. If you're going to say, if you're going to leave a normal comment, but at the end, just put lathe. That's it. You've obviously got to be a subscriber because this is just for my sub subscribers. And uh, so you've got to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. You've got to like the video. You've got to share the video. Or to be fair, you can share any one of my videos, but you definitely need to share something. You've got to share it. You've got to like it. You've got to subscribe. You've got to comment below lathe. Now, what I'll do is I'll run that for um, a couple of weeks and... Uh, We'll announce the giveaway, we'll announce the winner for both laves in two weeks time from today. So that will allow you time to share it out there and get it out there um, on the streets and, and uh, get more and more people over to the channel. Because uh, I would love to keep growing the channel uh, and I, I love doing what I do and I love doing it for you as well. So um, there it is guys, so uh, there's my Waffle Wednesday, hopefully I didn't waffle on too long, I probably did, as I always do. Um, I hope you don't mind about this Friday's video, so this Friday coming up is going to be a vlog instead of a project, so again, I am sorry if that, that is not your kind of thing, but I thought it was kind of relevant, and I think it's fairly relevant, because it is a woodworking show. Um, so I hope you don't mind about that um, and we'll get you a project video going for next Friday. Maybe a pen. <laughs> um, again, thanks very much to all the people that I met at Atlanta. 
Um, thanks very much for all my new subscribers that have come over since then, all my old ones as always. Uh, have a great week and I shall catch up with you on Friday for our vlogging video. Take care guys.